everyone is able to say what they want. Nobody ever comes to me and says, you can't say X. Nobody ever says that to Walsh. And no one ever said that to Candace. But the reality is that there is an Overton window at the Daily Wire. Ben Shapiro twisted himself into a logic pretzel the other day when he was interviewed by cultural critic and arbiter of ideas, Dave Rubin, who apparently still is doing his thing. He has a YouTube channel. His content, I never come across it anywhere anymore. But apparently Dave Rubin is still doing it. Ben Shapiro's Daily Wire recently parted ways with Candace Owens. It wasn't clear whether it was a resignation, a forced resignation or a firing. The understood reason for it is that Candace Owens has been saying things about the Israeli Hamas conflict that are not in line with most of what you hear at the Daily Wire. Ben Shapiro has made clear even though he's a founder, he is not involved in hiring and firing. But here he is not talking about it and then talking about it with Dave Rubin. And he says something super interesting. You've got to pay close attention to the vocabulary and exactly what he's saying. See if you can pick it up here. All right. So let's do the elephant in the room for just a moment, because I saw you this week on Piers Morgan. He asked you repeatedly about Candace. Uh, you repeatedly basically said, I won't talk about don't that. Want yeah, to talk I'll say about that here, too. I, I, yeah. <laughs> and that's fine. And, and you know, it's interesting because we all sort of came up together to different extents and we've all done a million things together and public events and networks and all of those things. It seems to me that at this moment, she's now a free agent. She happened to end up on Locals, where, which I created, and we they were a platform, not a publisher that you guys are. Can you at least talk to just sort of just sort of where it's at now? She's not with you. She's free. She's and, free to do and, whatever she wants to do, and to be wherever she wants to be. And the difference between a publisher like The Daily Wire and a platform like Locals is obviously that a platform should have a very broad range of speech that it allows, including speech that maybe even the creators don't believe is inside what they would consider to be the Overton window. That's a very different thing than direct subsidization of particular opinions. So The Daily Wire would not have a host, would not pay a host who was staunchly pro-abortion. Mm -hmm. They'd have no obligation to pay a host who is staunchly pro-abortion. And so when it comes to the hosts on The Daily Wire, obviously everyone is able to say what they want. Nobody ever comes to me and says, you can't say X. Nobody ever says that to Walsh. And no one ever said that to Candace. But the reality is that there is an Overton window at The Daily Wire. Obviously, there was a non-meeting of the minds. That's pretty much all I can say on this. Does, am I the only one realizing this incredible? It's in the same. It's not even like a couple minutes apart. It's not even 30 seconds apart. In the same sentence, he's saying at The Daily Wire, Everyone can say whatever they want. You're, you're allowed to say whatever you want. No one tells you what to say. But obviously, there are certain things where if you say you won't work here, <laughs> it's, it's sort of like you'll be allowed to say it, but then you'll be fired. So what exactly is he now? If I am super charitable, I get what he's saying. And it's sort of similar to RT. Remember the Russian propaganda network when it was on in the United States? The RT hosts would always say, no one ever comes to me and tells me you're allowed to say this or you're not allowed to say that. You can talk this way about Putin, but not that way about Putin. No one, and, and of course, we understand, right, no one needs to come to you and say that because you've been selected, you've been hired, you only work there because they know you're the type of person who's going to say the things they want people saying. Now, on The Daily Wire, it obviously went haywire with Candace Owens. And so Ben Shapiro is in this weird way saying there's full freedom of speech here. We don't tell anyone what to say, but we do fire you if you say things we don't like. We let you say it and then we tell you that's outside of our Overton window and then you're no longer going to be able to work here. So I it, it would be it would be less pathetic if he was able to present it in a more honest way and the entire framework of I'm not going to talk about it, I'm not going to talk about it, but you're you're allowed to say whatever you want. But if you say things outside of the Overton window, you're not going to work here. And there was definitely not a, a meeting of the minds when it came to this issue. Let's listen to just a little bit more here now with this context. Uh, and, you know, a, a lot of this has happened publicly, uh, and the, but you know, to the extent that, that the Daily Wire is, in fact, not a publisher, it is a pla that, that is, in fact, not a platform, it is a publisher, that means that there is no moral obligation for the Daily, and there's no free speech problem with the Daily Wire saying, we don't wish to pay a particular host or that host saying, I don't wish to work here anymore, because, again, there's a parting of the ways that I'm, that, you know, 
is not really open for discussion. So listen, he's absolutely right about that last part. And I don't know that anyone's making the case that Candace Owens had a right to say whatever she wanted at the Daily Wire. I mean, it, it is not a free speech issue. He's completely correct. There are all sorts of different reasons, especially when there is a public facing uh, element. And it, it's just it's way more honest to, to say the reality. I wouldn't have guest hosts on my show who are going to espouse certain views. Now, could I imagine a situation where I, I say, hey, let's do something wacky. Let's have a right wing host one day. And they don't represent my views at all. OK, maybe. But when I select my guest hosts, I don't tell them what to say or what not to say, what to talk about, what not to talk about. But I'm selecting people that I think are in line with what this show does. And if they came on here and they said the opposite of everything I believe, they would simply not be asked back again. That that's that's all completely fine. No one's arguing it's a free speech issue. And Ben Shapiro focusing on there's no issue here. We don't have we don't have to, we don't have to have pro choice people here or whatever the case. No argument whatsoever. But this you're always everyone's always allowed to say whatever they want. It's just you won't be allowed to work here depending on what you say. You're speaking out of both sides of your mouth. If you, if it makes more sense to you what he's saying, then it makes sense to me. Let me know. Maybe I'm the one missing something here. One of our sponsors today is Lumen. Lumen is the world's first handheld metabolic coach. It's a device that measures your metabolism through your breath. And on the app, it lets you know if you're burning carbs or fat, gives you tailored guidance designed to help improve your nutrition, workouts, sleep, even stress management. Since your metabolism is at the center of everything your body does, optimizing metabolic health can improve everything from sleep, immune system, energy, blood glucose, your weight, the list goes on. Lumen gives you real time feedback so you can make adjustments to your lifestyle based on the context of your breath measurement, whether it's first thing in the morning, before or after meals and workouts. It's super easy to use. I've been trying it myself, really impressed with how easy it is. It just doesn't disrupt your day at all. And the app is super intuitive. With more than 54 million metabolic measurements, Lumen is the world leader in metabolic data with a huge community of users that you can connect with. Go to lumen.me and use the code Pacman to get $50 off your Lumen. The link is down below.